This year's coverage of Computex 2019 is sponsored by Corsair and eBuyer. Check them out in the link below. Hey, what is up guys? How are we doing? And welcome back to a very special video here from Computex 2019, where we've got something that I think is almost game-changing for laptops. And this is actually something we said last year. Now this is the Asus Vivo Book. This is a newer version of what we actually saw from Computex 2018. And the whole idea with this is to put a touch screen that you can actually watch videos on, have different applications running, all within the area where you'd normally have a touchpad. So it's a completely normal touchpad when you want it to be, and then it is actually a fully multifunction screen when you want it to do something else. And the idea is that you could maybe message people with the keyboard on the lower screen while having work up, and it just makes multitasking that little bit easier. And I think for me, while it was a very cool idea, it wasn't really something I was hugely interested in because maybe the applications were a little bit limited. I wouldn't say it was hugely, um, almost a game changer, I guess. Well, technically it might be. It's not really something that interested me. This though is very, very different. So we have at the top a 4K OLED touchscreen that looks fantastic. Inside we have a super high-end laptop with up to a eight core or Core i9 processor. But obviously the main thing about this is this absolutely huge touchscreen we have at the bottom. And you can actually grab windows from the top. If I grab a video file here and open it up, we can move this and actually put it down into the lower screen. So we can use this full area for multitasking. We can maybe have a video editor at the top and then have the timeline at the bottom. We can pin different apps from left and right. So the idea is we have the footprint of a laptop, but almost like two screens worth of real estate. And this is an addition to, of course, using a full-size keyboard and then a touchpad down at the bottom. So I guess my question is, is this going to be like the original touchpad that we have on the much smaller laptop and the smaller Vivo book? Or is this Pro Duo laptop actually really going to be a game changer this time? I initially was a little bit doubtful, but I think that the software functionality that you've got here works really well. So it's very seamless, and if you do have something on the touch. Uh, on the touchscreen at the top and you want to move it down to the lower touchscreen, it is really natural to do this. I mean, you could almost think of this as like a Windows version of the MacBook Pro with touch bar, but way, way bigger. So I think a lot of people are really going to be interested in this. So spec-wise, we actually have a 4K display at the top and then technically a 4K display down the bottom as well. It actually is the same PPI. It's 3840 by 1100 in the 32 by 9 aspect ratio. And the real game changer, I guess, here is that if you get a window and you drag it from the top to the bottom, you are actually going to get the same PPI, so things are going to look the same without warping or doing anything a little bit weird. And because the two screens are actually fully aligned, it's going to give you a great user experience. The top screen is actually OLED 4K as well, whereas the bottom one is LCD IPS. The main one is rated as HDR, but they haven't actually said what the HDR specification is, so I don't think it's going to be overly impressive, but we have to wait and see. But in terms of the actual color space, we're hitting 100% of the DCI P3 color space, which is excellent. But then in terms of raw specifications, we have an 8-core i9 processor, RTX 2060, and then a X4 PCI SSD with Wi-Fi 6 and Thunderbolt, and even Alexa. So this is not just a one-trick pony. This pretty much has all the spe specifications you would want, as well as this additional screen. So my question to you, is this something that would make you buy a laptop? Would you especially go out and buy this for this function? Or do you think it's maybe a little bit compromising? For example, it's probably more difficult to use as a laptop because the keyboard is so far down. So you might want to use this with a mouse and it might compromise its laptop ability, if you like, from having that screen. Don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed it. It helps out so, so much you wouldn't believe. Of course, subscribe for more Computex coverage and a huge thank you to Corsair and eBuyer for actually sponsoring all of this year's Computex coverage and actually taking us out here. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.